All right, now we're gonna go over some of the benefits that come from playing a G chord with these three fingers. Instead of playing a G chord with your pointer, try to get comfortable playing beating with your ring finger, your middle finger, and your pinky. It's difficult to play at first, but it has a lot of benefits in the long run. There's a lot of little chords that you can access little accents that you can do uh, without changing your entire hand position. So your, your pointer finger is free to play notes. You can feather the C note to access a G7 is very simple. songs go from G to a G7, and there's many things in between that you can use. G major 7, so you have G, and G major 7, and G7, so you can play a, a G chord and accent it with two fingers down like we did in another lesson. And you're at that point you're playing half of a C chord. These first two fingerings of a C chord or the remainder of a G. And in relation to the C chord, playing a C chord going from the G in this hand position is a lot easier. It's a simple maneuver. These two fingers are in the same shape. They just move down in the strings. So from a G to a C, it's very simple. If you want to go a little further, your pinky can start floating around. little things that you can do while strumming. So simply by playing the G with these three fingers opens up a world of possibilities. I hope you enjoy it. Have fun. <laughs>